Welcome back to the channel, guys. I have another unboxing for you today, another Apple unboxing. The iPad mini, which was released a couple weeks ago, was actually delivered to me on September 24th. I've had it sitting on my dining room table for a couple <laughs> weeks now, just kind of chilling. I ordered it the day that it was released and it came in actually in less than a week. And I've just been so busy with my clinical placement for school, finishing up my last semester of nursing that I've, I just haven't had time. Well, the iPad mini for me anyways was actually the very first iPad product that I had ever purchased from Apple way, way back. And I think the last time I owned an iPad mini was probably around 2014. I want to say and I sold it and then I got the air and then I have the iPad 6 and then most recently I have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch M1 chip I have a video and unboxing on that if you'd like to check that out but then we have this guy to me this is like the shrunk down version of the pro but it's not a pro product what I loved about the iPad mini when I had it is that you could fit it in anywhere I would fit it into little side bags that I had like little purses I would have loved to have had an iPad mini actually when I first started my first nursing program Program. I'm not a big fan of lugging around all these binders that I have these notebooks on the other side There's like massive textbooks over here so I would have taken that into labs with me to have like textbooks pulled up on it Or other different medical apps that I could use or like a drug handbook or something like that could all be pulled up on the iPad mini Well, I absolutely love the size of this I love that I have a keyboard attached with it if I was using it for lab now, which I mean I'm pretty much done school at this point. I think this could have been a huge help. I think it's heavily being marketed towards like that professional type of field. Apple shows pilots a lot using this in their commercials or their advertisements for the iPad mini. Where I'm currently doing my clinical placement is in a long-term care facility. They only have iPad minis and it is for charting. So they just have them in these like giant otter box cases. Everyone picks up their iPad at the beginning of the shift. They chart away um, on whatever they need. You can kind of keep it with you. You just put it back on the charging dock by the end of the day. I have seen businesses like local cafe use these whether it just be like a main hub kind of just behind them on the counter or they're, they're actually inputting information onto them I've also seen these used on like food trucks before there's so many different ways to use the iPad mini but I find that if you have like a very specific reason for owning this it's a good thing to have so this comes in four colors I did purchase it in starlight which I believe is a new color as of this year which kind of looks similar like an off gold but we know with apple their gold is never truly gold there's two different storage options you can have the 64 gigabyte ipad mini or you can have the 256 gigabyte and as we know also with apple products there's no room for like external storage i would absolutely love it if apple would stop creating products with only 64 gigabytes because this is not helping anyone at least start at a minimum of 128 we are in 2021 every single app photo video whatever it is that you're doing on your devices these days take up so much more storage and i feel like apple just like they kind of like force you to buy the, the bigger the bigger storage option if you only get it in 64 gigabytes say you max out the storage on here are you gonna buy another one sell it like it just creates a lot of the product electronic landfill waste that uh, has just been circulating around the world so my opinion is just to go big get the 256 i also got the i believe this is orange this is a very vibrant orange it's called electric orange i'm not a huge fan of orange and like bright colors like this i'm very muted monotone she says with a yellow dining room far as i am aware this is the only cases that have come out for this so far so with the lowest storage volume available in the orange or I should say electric orange smart folio iPad mini case this ran me about $822 Canadian They're a bit on the pricey side there for an iPad mini but we'll open this up we'll do a little demo and uh, see if it's worth the money one day guys one day I will have a proper table to do unboxings on I keep this thing after all. It's so cute. It's like lightweight. This is compared to the iPad Pro, like you, you up there, you're heavy. Maybe it's just the keyboard, but like you're definitely heavy. Inside the box, we have our typical Apple paper stuff. And then we have what looks to be a double-sided USB-C charger and a USB-C adapter. What's nice about that is that if it's a double USB-C cable, that means that we have USB-C charging on the iPad mini. Oh, it's so cute. 
Oh wow, that is extremely bright. It is electric. It does stick. I'm just going to show you the little magnet test. It has a pretty good hold on it. I'm shaking it around. Hello. So let's just get into the specs of this iPad. Obviously we have a very squared off design compared to the previous mini. Starlight is the new color for this year. And to me, it just looks like a very, very, very muted gold. You can almost barely tell the color of it. I mean, truly they all kind of look silver from any angle, unless you're up close and you're like, you're looking at all of them in front of you. I'll insert a picture here about what I'm talking about. It is being shipped with the A15 Bionic chip. The screen size has also increased to 8.3 inches of liquid retina display. Split screen definitely does work on the iPad mini. Obviously it's at a much smaller scale. You can move things around however you see fit. You can edit the smart stack. Center stage also does work on here. For center stage, so we'll accept. Hey, I'm over here. Are you gonna go? Yeah, it does. I think this is an amazing feature. Got my daughter in the background over here. Hey. But let's go ahead and test out the spatial audio. It sounds so cute. Okay, so Guys, this is the speaker at the volume. Guess what I have volume. today? Uh, a box. I have a box. Inside this box, though, we have the long-awaited AirTag and see how they work with the iPhone XR. By the way, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. And if you're finding that you're liking this video or finding any value in this video, go ahead and also hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. The other thing that I think is wonderful is on the old iPad minis, we had the biometric touch ID down here with the button. As of this year, it has officially been moved up to the top, similar to the iPad Air. Depending on the orientation that you have your iPad in, you might wanna use your left index finger. You can use your right index finger on the top if you have it in portrait mode. You'll notice here on the right side of the iPad mini, this is normally where you would have the toggle for the volume switches. If you'll notice here, this little magnet section, this is actually for an Apple Pencil, Apple Pencil 2. It's literally the exact same size almost. This just feels like a giant phone. As I stare at the keyboard, maybe because I'm just so used to the resolution on the iPad Pro at this point, the resolution on this is just not popping out at me as much, but that's okay. Like I said, it's not a pro product. Honestly, typing on this keyboard is actually really nice. Maybe because I have long fingers as well, so spatial movement is <laughs> not typically an issue for me. For my fellow nurses out here, okay, since I, I've been talking about purchasing the iPad for very specific reasons, let's go ahead and do the scrub check, okay? If this iPad mini fits in my scrubs, I might keep it. I don't want to. I don't want to because I don't need any more Apple stuff. So we have the iPad mini. We have scrubs with a big side pocket like we all love. Does it fit? Barely. Like it just fits. It just fits. I mean, it's not terrible. If I had to run. I'm being super dramatic right now. It fits, it just kind of feels like a giant just notebook in my pocket. I don't know about you guys, but if I have anything weighing uneven on any one side of my scrubs, it'll weigh down the other side more and kind of like pull up here. That could just be a me problem. Obviously, if the iPad mini does not have a case on it, it's going to slip in and out of your pocket a lot more easier. Here is a shot of me showing it in my side pocket and also in my back pocket, if that's what you choose to do. I typically don't actually keep things in my back pocket. Well, it is almost the perfect fit for my scrubs. I feel like if I'm running, it might fall out and smash, and I, I don't want that. Most nurses carry around a little notebook and they write things down throughout their day, whether it be about their patient status, patient notes, medications that they're looking up, disease processes that they're looking up. One of the reasons why I did not end up being one of the nurses to carry around the little notepad and the pen was because in my little big forehead, I can't have things in a notebook if I can't move them around and make it organized as I write. Like it would truly drive me absolutely insane to not be able to move pages around. I would have one section for disease processes, one section for medications I've looked up, one section for like how to use my charting system. With something like an iPad mini where I can use an app like GoodNotes or even the native notes app that comes on the iPad mini, I could do all of that and I can organize things as much as my little heart desires. 
these. So I've downloaded the Good Notes app on the iPad mini and I, this is kind of just going to give you an idea of the type of notes that a nursing student or any medical professional would maybe use on the iPad mini and why it might be actually beneficial to use this as your one specific need for getting the iPad mini if you're a medical professional. The one thing that I've kind of questioned with the iPad mini is how easy is it to actually write notes out with such a small screen. This would actually even be perfect to pull out of my pocket as I'm even studying for like NCLEX or something. Whip out, like if you have a lab coat or something, yeah, I could do it on my phone, but the screen's a little bit smaller or I could do it on this. You definitely could walk around with an iPad of this size. Like this is the 12.9 inch, this is the mini. The iPad that I was working with before was the six. And you know, this is even a fantastic iPad. Majority of those notes that you would have seen on that Good Notes app was actually done on this iPad. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here with the Unboxing and the quick little demo of the iPad mini. I don't really see anyone going out to buy this just for fun. I mean, you could, but I feel like the iPad mini needs to have a very specific purpose for it. Otherwise, I don't know, it's just like a larger phone. Personally, I think I'm gonna end up returning this. I just can't justify spending $800 on like a portable notepad because that's all I would really use it for. I have my iPad Pro. I love this thing dearly. If not, then I use the six. I also have my MacBook. I also have my phone. Like there's only so many devices I can have here. They don't all need to be in different screen sizes. If you want to see any other Apple unboxing, I've done AirTags, I've done the HomePod. And there's a bunch of different things on my channel. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.